Welcome back to the jury. Well, it's the photo that has the world in a spin. A seemingly innocent Mother's Day shot with Princess Kate and her three children in tow. It was designed to put to rest all the speculation over precisely where Kate is amid a lengthy hospitalisation earlier this year. That was until multiple reputable photo agencies issued a kill notice claiming the image had been manipulated. The pile-on was intense. Then came this statement from Catherine. Like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused, she said. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. Who would have thought Kate spends her days on Photoshop? Or does she? The firm has certainly fallen into the fake media debate. This doctored photo now puts added scrutiny on every photo that comes from the palace and it raises important questions about trust and transparency. Our final question for the jury is, can the royals be trusted? Well, joining us now is news.com.au columnist Jana Hocking and Jonathan Moran, Chief Entertainment Editor at The Daily Telegraph. Hello to you both. Great to see you. Thank you for joining us on the Of course they can be trusted. Oh, he's ready. He's of ready. Of course they can oh, be trusted. Well, all right, we'll start with you then. Why? Why? I mean, it's an anachronistic system. I had to Google that before coming <laughs> in here. It's an anachronistic system, but... Like, these guys are leading a life of service. This is just an absolute storm in a teacup that has been turned into a mountain out of a molehill. Did you like that? Did I you like that? Jo it is ridiculous. This is a woman that is giving her life, going and seeing sick kids at hospitals and so on, and we've turned it around to the most ridiculous argument. Can they be trusted? Of course they can. Well, why, don't, why do you think that they can't be but trusted, Janet? But this Jenna? isn't a little, oops, I accidentally put the Paris filter over my photos, which we all do. Yeah, well, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we, who who has it? my point. You prove my point. All of but us do it. But it's not that. It's not. That's not a little filter of Paris. There were 20 differences. This photo had been manipulated 20 times. Were they? Who's selling that? AFP just said it was different. They didn't go through with all the stupid little arrows. Well, saying, plenty of this, people the did, and these were big news what, publications. What, other influencers that well, all do it themselves? Well, let's start with the fact, no, this wasn't. The Guardian, they pinpointed 20. They had, let's see... The Guardian the who want to rip the royals to shreds in the best of the times anyway. He was in the a tree. Christmas sweater. Yeah. Her face was the face out of Vogue. This and wasn't you know a what? little change. Yeah. This was a even lot. Even if the photo was altered, even if it was a photo that was taken six months ago, this is a woman who has come out months ago saying she's going through an illness, she's going through surgery, possibly very so serious why surgery. Make it worse? Very serious surgery. It's Mother's Day. I want to put a message but out. Isn't that a problem to if people. she's taken a photo six months ago and then possibly used it again six months later? Who cares? But that's fake. Fake exactly. news. And then say no? well, I and, love and fake news doesn't happen every day. No everywhere. But well but the problem is it's with the royals all the time. This goes oh, back Ages. Let's start with, you know, Prince Andrew on BBC. Don't even get me started. Well, that's a whole different problem. Problem. Different different that. si We've had situation. Fergie trying to sell her story or trying to get people to meet Prince Andrew for $500,000. We've this, got That was years ago. And this no, is, but this the royal's family currently. has changed. The structure has changed. The Queen's died. 